If you can't beat them, join them. That's the approach Rowan County State Representative Harry Warren has taken in his House Bill 954. It would legalize video lottery machines so long as the state regulates them and operators pay taxes on any earnings. All I can say is, is they're, they're a real problem right now. Rowan County is no stranger to illegal video gaming operations. In the last year and a half, they've conducted around 10 search warrants and seized about a million dollars in cash. In North Carolina, the only type of gaming that's recognized or, or is gambling either at the uh, Indian lands or through the state lottery. Chief Deputy David Ramsey has personally gone undercover to stop illegal operations. That's why we can't show his face. He says when it comes to these video gambling rings, it's not all fun and games. We've had uh, everything from murder to drug trafficking to uh, robberies that have occurred there. House Bill 954 would legalize video lottery systems as long as they get licensed by the state lottery commission. The taxes raised would go to six state colleges and create a forgivable loan program for community college students. But Chief Ramsey and the North Carolina Sheriff's Association are adamantly against it. The, the problems created in the communities uh, by the video sweepstakes machines uh, don't go away just by having it licensed by the lottery. Um, if the purpose is to raise taxes, I'm confident that the state could raise more money if they tax prostitution, cocaine, methamphetamine, oxycotton, and other things that are abused. The Sheriff's Association tells me they are also concerned the bill does not include any language about what would happen to illegal video lottery machines currently in use, but this bill is still in its very early stages. It just passed its first reading in May. Just yesterday, it was referred to the House Finance Committee. In Salisbury, Sydney Heiberger, Fox 46.